Hi, this is Irv. I'm about five weeks into my project to grow rainbow trout in the little pond in back of my house. Uh, tomorrow will be five weeks and five weeks ago I put in 50 uh, rainbow trout about six to eight inches in length. Uh, this all started for me uh, when I started looking into aquaponics which looked like fun but then I looked at raising trout or fish in a in a big tub and all the pumps and the water and then trying to tie that into the vegetables and a greenhouse and I thought you know what I've got this pond it's probably 25,000 gallons it's about 50 feet across about five feet deep it's very murky water so there's going to be issues here with raising trout it's not ideal but uh, there are goldfish in here already I put them in about 10 years ago uh, with the aerator that I used back then and the goldfish, eventually the pond became very stable and I didn't need the aerator anymore. Before that, uh, there used to be a lot of algae on the pond. So the pond seems to be very healthy. There's a lot of goldfish. Uh, there's also polywogs and other things in here. So, like I said, we're five weeks into this. Uh, a couple of the issues were the murkiness the oxygen with no running water, uh, no air getting down here, and the temperature where uh, I, they, they like 65 or less, and right now it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect in, in the water, uh, but if it gets up to 80 in the summer, that will be too much. I'll probably lose all of them if that happens. Uh, and if we have a big drought this summer, that'll be an issue. Uh, but, you know, we're five weeks into it, and I'm going to go uh, with my cast net, take a couple throws, and see if we can catch a trout. And let's hope he's over, if we catch one, he's over uh, eight inches or so. Uh, because when we put them in, they were six to eight. So they should have grown, they should grow about an inch a month. And by the way, they're not eating any of the food I'm putting in. Uh, and that, so I stopped putting food in but I'm sure they're eating the food that's in the pond. So we'll have to see, uh, see how they look. All right, he's a beauty. He's nine and a half inches. Uh, they don't like to be out of the water, so we want to get them back in fast. We're doing spectacularly because he's nine and a half inches. And, uh, at this point, this is a big success. I would say the one thing you have to do is have an aerator when you're going to have a smaller pond, especially like this one that's not getting uh, any kind of water running into it or the wind doesn't get down here. So, uh, but so far, huge success. Let's take a quick flashback to five weeks ago and I'll show you a couple of the things I did to get the pond ready for the trout and also putting the trout in. Here is the aerator, at least this is the membrane part where the air will blow out through this rubber membrane. It's got a, a lot of tiny little holes in it and then that tubing will run to it. It's been many, many years since I've used this, but it still works. Now, what I'm going to do is set this down in there. A couple bricks at the bottom of that can. Then I'm going to just take this thing and set it down in there. And I drilled a little hole through the side so we can uh, hook the hose up on the outside right down here. Um, then this is this old AirTech 40 which is uh, going to make the air for us. And I tested it out. It still works. And then I've got some pipes. I'm going to just put that around the plastic hose to sink it out near the uh, aerator. Out there is the end. We're going to put the pump here. I have the air going. 
it's down about five feet or so and as you can see it really is putting air out so it's got to run we got the hose running over there and then I got my little pump over here I'll say a little bit about the aerator it takes about 40 watts and I run it about eight hours a day so it's only costing a couple dollars a month to run it uh, the only thing is uh, it may be hard to source one like it I haven't seen anything online recently and that's a really old one that one's about 2 CFM I think they said 48 liters per minute uh, and uh, part of it is to have a good uh, membrane and uh, that should go on obviously on the bottom of the pond it's now April 16th uh, Saturday it's about noon time I just got back from the fish farm see how they do off they go go find some oxygen guys We definitely have a couple that are don't look like they're going to want to make it at all. You no, know, there's some still. They're kind of stuck in the weeds here. It was about a two-hour ride, so that was pretty much, I'd say, just about the limit. They did oxygenate these bags. They they filled these bags halfway with water. Then they used an oxygen tank and pumped the oxygen in. Uh, which was good. So we did get them released. Yeah, I just saw one go darting out. Okay, we're back to May 20th, back to the present. Uh, and that'll do this for now. Uh, the only thing I'll say is that things are, you know, five weeks into this, things look very successful. And I will also give you a quick look at the murkiness of the water. So we'll come up and show you this frog that's here and then we'll also take a look at the murky water and the, uh, the visibility is like three inches so it's very murky but I think we've proved that the rainbow trout can live in murky water and do fine so it seems like they're just doing fine with it. Uh, it's not ideal but uh, it does seem to be working. So I'll check back in in probably a month or so. We'll see where we are. Have a great day.